thought I'd do a video on the Deontay Wilder versus Dylan White situation. And just so people know where I'm coming from first, I'm a big Dylan White fight. He's probably he's still my second favourite heavyweight active right now. Uh, probably have to admit that uh, David Hayes is probably my favourite fighter out there. And that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, I think they're the best heavyweights around right now. I don't think either of them are the best heavyweights around right now. But uh, that's the two I can really get behind and support when they're actually fighting. And I'm a big fan of a lot of other boxers, but they're the two that I really get behind and really support when they actually are fighting. Uh, and just what I wanted to say is, if this fight does get made next February, like Eddie Hearns is saying, I don't just think De Deontay Wilder will knock out Dylan White. I also think Deontay, Dylan White doesn't have the actual skill to outbox Deontay Wilder. I think Dylan White is tough, he's durable, a lot like um, Dua Pao was when Dua Pao fought Wilder. Um, I think if Dylan White manages to find and set up the openings, there'll be some exciting parts of this fight. I can even see Dylan White winning some rounds, but um, I don't think Dylan White is one of the guys that are able to outbox Deontay Wilder. I think Deontay Wilder just has a bit too much skill, even for Dylan White. And as durable as Dylan White is, I think Deontay Wilder will eventually get to him and and put him out as well. I, I see um, Dylan White tiring as the fight goes on, and Deontay Wilder is probably... He has the best ga gas tank, you know, he's one of the best gas tanks anyway, maybe even the best gas tank. He has the best uh, stanima of um, any heavyweight, possibly, right now. Uh, so, yeah, I can't see Dylan White beating Deontay Wilder, or I can, but I think it's unlikely that he beats Deontay Wilder. But saying that, and this is going to be a bit controversial, and it's only my opinion... When you're looking at all these boxers, um, what was it? I think you had Povetkin, can't pronounce this other guy's name, is it Warwick? Warwick? And then now you have Luis Ortiz feeling these uh, bad drug tests. I actually think if this fight does get made, I'm half expecting Dylan White to get caught by Vada as well. When I look at Dylan White, he does show a sign of steroid juice. I'm not just talking about that. He is heavily muscled. People call him chubby and he is a bit chubby, but he's very heavily muscled, but not that. It's the fact that he's got gyno underneath both nipples. So I, th I think when you get someone that big, they're an athlete, they've got gyno underneath their nipples. It's highly likely that they are taking performance enhancing drugs or steroids that have affected their testosterone levels and cause them to develop gyno. So I think if this fight does get made, people are still uh, going to be disappointed when it comes down to it. I see uh, Dylan White. Personally, I think Dylan White, there's a good chance he could fail a VADA test and it'll be another opponent that people are going to be disappointed Deontay Wilder fights before that. So, preferably for me, I would, I would prefer... If the Dylan White, if the Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder fight actually happened next, um, I mean, even if Dylan White did pass tests, I would still want the Deontay Wilder versus Vladimir Klitschko fight next. Um, I understand where people are coming from. People are talking about Deontay Wilder, or Deontay Wilder has demanded a 50 50 split, but that's just uh, negotiating. I think it would be stupid for Deontay Wilder to say anything, but he wants a 50-50 split right now. When it comes down to negotiations, Deontay Wilder will go, you know, he will, you know, put down the percentage he wants for uh, taking on the fight. Because, um, yeah, it's just it's just a way of bargaining. You know, you, you, you ask for something more than you expect to get, and then you end up getting more than you would have got in the first place. So, yeah, Deontay Wilder... Um, he may be asking for a 50, 50 split, but I'm sure he will settle for something less. Where should this fight happen? Obviously in the UK. Um, 
I mean, you can make an argument that if Anthony Joshua is um, going to be a big star in America, that he should actually fight Deontay Wilder in America, and that's how you become a big star. If I can't, I can't see it being a big pay per view fight in America. It won't. It just it won't be a pay per view fight in America. And if Deontay Wilder wants to make the most money, it should be in the UK, where you can sell out to uh, Wembley for a ninety thousand crowd. Because that it would sell that, and that's the way Deontay Wilder gets him the maximum amount of money for his percentage out of this fight is if it's in the UK. Um, and you know, Anthony Joshua is actually better known than Deontay Wilder even in America. Uh, it doesn't take a very clever person at all just to go on Google Trends. I mean, Google Trends is a very handy tool for anybody wanting to compare. Uh, who searched the most and it's quite obvious who searched the most is going to be the most popular in that country and I think Anthony Joshua is searched over twice as much, twice the amount as I am Deontay Wilder apart from two states in America. So Anthony Joshua is more popular than Deontay Wilder in America and uh, Anthony Joshua is vastly more um, well known in Europe and Britain as well. So if they want to maximise the revenue fight has to happen in the UK and I can see why Eddie Hearns it's logical for Eddie Hearns to want John Two Elder to fight Dylan White first because the most of the fans most of the ca okay, say casual fans for heavyweight boxing right now is in Britain we've got a lot of good boxers Tyson Fury He's not active right now, everyone keeps reminding me, but I'm sure he will be next year. Um, Anthony Joshua as well. David Hay. People don't think he's relevant anymore, but he still creates big fights. Dylan White. Uh, Derek Chisora. Uh, David, <laughs> David Price. Not a big draw anymore, but he was big as well. And there's other ones coming up. So. Eddie Hearns. The reason Eddie Hearns wants to make it with... Deontay Wilder versus Dylan White is because Dylan White is a well-known British boxer. He's almost got a hundred thousand Twitter followers, which is one way of measuring how popular somebody is. And he, Eddie Hearns has control of Dylan White. Dylan, he can steer Dylan White into whatever fight he wants, and he actually has him available. So Dylan White being British and Dylan White being with Eddie Hearns is the reason, one of the reasons why Deontay Wilder. He's trying to set up Deontay Wilder versus Dylan White. The other reason, of course, is he's hoping that Dylan White can actually steal the WBC belt on off him. Even though there's an argument to that that um, Anthony Joshua wouldn't make as much money rematching Dylan White as he would fighting Deontay Wilder, which I would agree with as well. It could just be Eddie Hearns is setting up Dylan White as a sacrificial, sacrificial lamb to make the Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder fight happen. Because Deontay Wilder will be I think the heavy favourite in that fight and um, I think I've pretty much covered everything.